light up. Um, these two are clear. The nose uh, landing gear lights are very clear. These are fine. These are very clear. Um, these are very clear. Um, and then these are all readable. The laser arm, autopilot. These texts are much more readable now compared to um, the old method. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who have been following my A10C build, um, you'll notice that there's been some time since I've um, released a video on it. Um, for the F15, everything is done, so I'm not dependent on 3D printer. For the A10, um, still trying to do UFC and glass shield and my BQB1 printer has been acting up and tried 7 to 10 times to load unload filament and it just keeps getting stuck so I give up and after research I found that the bamboo is good especially the A1 with the AMS so um, I had to bite the bullet and got it and the first thing I tried was um, mixing colors for text um, which is actually more urgent for the F15 because a lot of the text looks terrible um, there are two ways to do text uh, the old way is without AMS is you you cut out right and if you cut out uh, as I demonstrated how in the first few videos you when you cut out the the text needs to be very big or else uh, it looks bad the other way is to emboss like you raise the text okay um, but when you paint everything you you print it in clear and then you spray paint it several times uh, it the black still doesn't cover and then you file away the top right um, the black somehow is not good enough and a lot of light will bleed through not just around the side but in between the letters so either way whether you emboss in clear and you know file away or you cut out both were not giving me good results and uh, it was hard to read without light and with light so all these are light indicators right so especially when it light up you have to be able to read the text um, well so the old ones were all bad results so i tried this so um, basically there are two main types here flat ones like this with different colors um, and this type where um, it's like a box right flip upside down for the text this is the EMS LMT and the nose gear nose landing gear stuff left right nose you cannot see it because of the angle so anyway the key thing here is uh, use a small nozzle the standard one is 0.4 for text, I want it to be sharp, so I got another smaller, got a 0.2 nozzle, and then I mix color. So you see black, this is actually transparent, um, they don't have a better color to indicate it. And then this is winter gray for knobs, um, and then white, if you're printing white on black uh, panel. So... Um, let me show you these two ways. Um, the result is um, very good. So here, um, this is uh, at an angle. Okay, uh, control zero. Control one will you have to click on it. Control one will give you the flat look. So okay, this is at an angle. So start with this one. This these are just different colors, right? 
here we have the four colors and it's either one or two right black and transparent and then these are the opposite um transparent cube this is called a cube and uh black text so let's see like the flap okay this is your this is your plate right so um normally it's global if you import stuff you switch to objects you right click here add primitive cube it will go here you want to click everything clear of this area right um why because later when you this when you will be added in the center and then when you add text you will also be added once you edit or whatever the text may be off a bit you center text it will center against this cube that is in the center that's how i center both there is no i i, I haven't found a way to like off center and select both and center them together okay um like if i select this this um i'm not sure whether this will work but anyway this is how i do it for now um you have a cube it's by default okay like this by default is all uniform okay you don't want to turn off uniform because if not whatever you do is like together okay it will all be together so uh, let's see 20 see you, you do not want this you want to turn off and the flap um the exact dimension is this okay just for simplicity sake um we do this cube and we do like say 30 25 and 1 okay um Okay, now it's flat. So, see, it is it is one mm thick. So, um, all these panels, these flaps, whatever, I'm sticking onto a light indicator. So there's a hole, and I just have something to cover it. So, uh, one mm is thick enough. And by the way, this is all black, right? So it covers the light much better than spray paint, painted black. So anyway, um, this is good enough. If you don't find it good enough, then also depends on the percentage that you do the infill, um, which is here um, under strength. I only do 10%. You can even do 5%. Okay, so um, with the cubed selected, you add text, okay? This is very uh, narrow, okay? You can have something wider or Aaron, like Aaron Black, okay? You do like six and this is embossed. Thickness is embossed. This is debossed, okay? Go down. So uh, let me show you this first. If you do this and let's say we do flat, okay? see it's raised up right if you do zero and this one um put away now it is now it is going under all right it's embedding all the way because it's the same one mm now um this is how we do it if you want to edit now if let's say we want to make it bigger right you want to edit the text again so i want it um, narrower so that i can make it bigger so i can do like this or even this okay so let's say we go with this i can go way up okay but this is this is a bit too high you you don't want to try to eyeball the center it, when you center you will center 
the height and the width as well so um, let's say it's somewhere here I just come here and click center okay obviously your cube you want it to make sure it's in the center too right so now everything is centered okay so we are done with the flat okay but now it's black against black so we want the text to be transparent then the cube is already black I choose the text and I click on it I find that I have to click three times okay second time then this thing here then click again the colors drop out and drop down and I select now you click away okay now this is transparent okay when you print you will select this one and two okay one and two black and transparent so simple right then you can do it for for many of this okay the result will be sharp and very good um i'm very impressed with uh, bamboo so now how do we do stuff like this this um we can see left right nose emt lmt so let's say do a simple one you do not want to have a cube and then flip it and then try to add another cube with a border here and second one here sec third one here fourth one here you will not be able to align them okay by eyeballing there is um no way to really and there's no there is no um fence or something right so i'm not going to create four um thin rectangles as a fence to build up something like this like a fence so all you need to do is to if you are, have already created this in the past in FreeCAD just delete the text bring one in without without any text okay um for example we come here we import see this one without text so this is it looks like a cube but see it's actually a box right now before we flip it we want to add text first so here we do a text and um, we want say we want to this one zero it, this one it will add a point zero one by itself okay i don't know why but um we want this thickness is one okay uh the top okay this part top part here is one so we want to embed one and then let's say we do a nose okay so here now you want to you do control one it helps okay it's flat on from the top so um two things we need to do one is to change to change this to transparent so it's easier to see secondly it's not centered so we want to they are, they are all called cube right you you can re you can rename the cube uh the main cube uh which is the whole object including the text you can um change the color and you want to recenter it so here this one we want to center the text okay so now we have it like like this one but it is like this if you print like this you will have to build a lot of support so you want to actually flip it to flip it you select the whole thing and click on this lay on face at first you don't see anything you have to click on it okay then it flips okay now it's flipped upside down and it will print but note your plate if it's uh, textured okay it will not be smooth the result when you print it will be textured as you will see later in my pictures so anyway um now we have we have it like this okay so most of these are like this some of them are boxes with a uh, text flip upside down to print okay so let's um 
take a look at the results. We have, see this one, the IFF reply. It was like this, already hard to read the cutout. Then if you put it against something black, you cannot read. I don't know why it's this. So this one, the new one, you the tran this is transparent. So if ever you light up, you will see the text. Okay, this is already readable. You see, this is the textured uh, plate. So it's not smooth. Okay, but um, to me, I don't, don't really care. Anyway, you can read this um, better. Then flaps, this was the old one because this text is big enough. So at least you can, uh, you can read it, but still I had to actually cut, okay, the manually cut uh, with a wire cutter is it's just very bad the the cut out um, this way the old way is bad this one the new way with the it, this is not blank right this is filled with um transparent PLA so um, I make it tall and narrow so that I can have the text uh, very big so you can see it's the the light behind is yellow this one is green so when you light up okay it's very clear obviously this one can read too but um, this one looks better okay for flaps now landing gear uh, the cutout um, again when it is not lit it is hard to read when it's lit up um, yeah you can read it better but this one it's even clearer clearer and Without light is also readable, all right. So then um, the left indicators. This cutout um, was terrible. Okay, this is kind of passable. So when you light up, uh, you kind of yeah you can read it, um, but they are short the text. Okay, and short and fat. So this one, um, the spray painted method. The um, you get a lot of light bleed in between the text. This one you still get light bleed because um I paste it over. I cannot paste over the whole thing because you need to press it down, right? So you can only maximum go to the edge of the button, right? This is not just a light display, but this is a button too. So you have to push it down. So you get light um bleed bleeding through the gap here which is which is fine to me so you see there's no light bleed between the text so when it's lit up um, it's much clearer to read than this thing here okay without lighting both are readable that's fine actually all these indicators when they are not lit um, it doesn't matter if they're readable in fact it shouldn't be too readable so it's not too obvious so this one you can see it's like nice much nicer than this right and then when it's lit obviously it's also very uh, clean and readable next we have the right indicators um this were all crooked okay very thin text the f was crooked and the s was crooked here um and different sizes this is small text because i have to squeeze everything and this one to help make it readable i actually make it very big so the sizes um of the fonts are very different here i standardize them to something small this is the weakest link right then i use the same size 5.5 throughout so the text is um kind of standardized and the text is thick maybe a bit too thick uh, but when you light up you don't want it to be too too thin when you light up and the whole thing is like glowing red you want the text the font to be thick enough so that it doesn't get washed out by the light okay so this is quite readable but again the text is thin and crooked so the result is much better you know with the new method with this is this is again transparent okay 
transparent PLA and the black is not like this where I use a black marker and just draw on top of the embossed uh, fonts. Here I, this is debossed and the black starts from the bottom up, okay? So it's black all the way. Now, um, oh, this is a repeat. This, this thing is a repeat, but anyway, the laser armed, um, this is the old one, this is the new one, it's about the same. This one I print, I paint the red over it. Okay, this one is the red behind because the text is actually clear. So then this was bad, um, not readable. When you light up, you, you can sort of read. Um, this one is the new way. It's much taller, the text, okay? And more readable and when it's lit up, you know, it's very clear. So like the result. So this is the tools panel, uh, the cutout, and this is the textured one uh, with the transparent word. Again, this will never be lit, okay? This is not... Um, This, this module, a lot of the features are not even uh, developed yet, so it doesn't matter. So the warning panel, um, and that is the tools, the cover, right? The warning panel, this is 2mm thick as compared to the rest. But same thing, you have black versus transparent, okay? And um, before, after... After actually it's harder to read than this, but it's taller, okay, and this is flush. This is an embossed, so this is raised. Okay, and the text were very bunched up together. This is um clearer in a sense. And then you see a lot of light bleed. Uh this one also has some light bleed around the edges, but no bleed between the text. This one the this one bleeds like crazy everywhere and I got a super thin, super fine marker, black marker to try to cover up, you know, the bleed between the words and it's just too tight and even the super fine marker didn't really do anything. Okay, so this this was very hard to read. Now you can, now this is much easier to read. Now this one, the, the spare is like, not lighting up all the words because um it, i'm having one source to try to light up for okay so actually the spare i don't really care so but the all these other words are much more readable right so i'm happy with the result that's it thank you guys for watching okay we are Back in the F15 E cockpit and um, in mixed reality, virtual world up there and pass through here. And before we do the the light test, um, just want to see without lighting up the text. Starting with this one, it's a bit dark today, but uh, the reply you can kind of make it out compared to the last time. And then the flaps are obviously um, very visible. This one I didn't change because they were big enough and clear enough. Um, this one you can also kind of see partially in the shadow. And these texts are all readable. Uh, this is not very readable because it's like black. Anyway, the text um, and this frail thing, all these are not very important when not lit up how readable it is most importantly is when you um, when you turn on the light that it should be readable okay so um, let's do the light test okay this one doesn't this one doesn't light up, all these don't light up 
um, these two are clear the nose uh, landing gear lights are very clear these are fine and these are very clear we have the light bleed at the side but as I explained um, because you are just pasting on the button you know um, you cannot cover the whole thing so it has to be pushable um, these are very clear um, and then these are all readable the laser arm autopilot these texts are much more readable now compared to um, the old method all right so um, I'm happy with the result um, it's much improved so <clears throat> now you guys may not be building the F-15E you can use this for the other aircrafts that you might be building and also not just for light indicators um, you can use the same method the AMS you know auto changing of colors whatever um, for your panels right this one I did it the 3d method way with one filament whole panel is <coughs> Um, printed with the text raised right embossed and then I use a white um, acrylic marker and then I just draw over the text okay compared to other people with a CNC machine <coughs> they spray paint they paint it white then paint two layers of black and then they use the CNC to engrave you know um, away the black paint and expose the white um, and that makes it very flush mine is not flush mine is like embossed it's raised up now with the um, if you have an AMS um, with your 3d printer <coughs> you can do you can do something like this where it's flush right um, you have clear you have clear and you have black uh, if you want this one obviously it shouldn't be clear it should be white so um, you can do white text black all the way all right if you want backlighting that's a more advanced method where you have clear text black panel and then at the top layer you add another white um, in a later video when I do the um, the glass shield the T handle um, for the A10 I will show I will show how that's done okay but basically black with clear or black with white and you can have flushed um, text and it's much clearer than cut out it's much clearer than embossing you know the old method I, I embossed then I file away and then the painted black tends to bleed a lot now now the text because the surrounding text is it's not painted it's um, black filament all the way even if it's just 1 mm it, it blocks the light much better right um, this was a cutout this was embossed and now both don't have light bleed around the, the letters okay so um, just sharing with you guys um, a better method um, to make clearer text so hope this has been helpful and um, I'll see you guys in the next one.